Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, To all my fellow friend and my lecturer Dr. Muhammad Farouk My name is Muhammad Faiz bin Kamaluddin Today my group will present about the Shania issue in Islamic Finance Product Documentation uh, Let's go by the introduction first So what is Islamic Finance? Islamic Finance is soft of financial activity that must follow to the Shariah law. To create financial Islamic product, they must obey the, to the fundamental of principle of Islamic finance, which is law should not be imposed with riba. Now, second, individual will not invest in illegal industry. Number three, myself with equated gambling. Number four, must be a great risk, uh, which is Kara. And finally, every transaction must be illegal. In business, the individual share the risk and the rewards. As a result, both parties benefit from the borrowing and leading process. Consumers who choose Islamic financial product are aware of the numerous advantages of it. As you know, Islamic finance product also implemented by Banky finance and non-banky finance. That means the business must be obey the signing up advisor in terms of policy and agreement that must uh, ensure that the product documentation is checked and also offer the additional information necessary document for signing up advisor. For example, uh, Islamic finance for product such as Mudarabah, Wadia, Musyarakah, and by Bitman Ajil, and so on. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Ali Fakmal bin Abdul Rahim. My metric number is 059126, and now I will present about the literature review. The product that our group chose is by Bisaman Ajil. Literally, by Bisaman Ajil means sale and agreement purchase. So, Technically, it means a sale and purchase agreement where the price is deferred with a fixed payment period until a later date. On the Quran, by Bismillah Ajay has been allowed by Allah SWT in Surah Al-Baqarah verses 282 which means Oh, you will believe when you contract, for example, when you have to owe debts to one another for a specified time, then write it down. And let a scribe write it down among you with justice, and let not a scribe refuse to write it down. As Allah has told him, so I let him write and let the one on whom the duty of paying is true. It is the one who will dictate and let him fear Allah is not and let him not despise anything in it. According to Quran, Allah allowed the method of selling deferred payment to alternative debt financing approaches of the conventional banking system. Now I will explain about Bay Bissam and Ajit. This contract involves three parties, that is the vendor or developer, the consumer, and the bank. In this contract, consumer will get assistance from banks in obtaining product from dealer or developer. Customer will be required to pay to the bank in periodic installment. Good stated must not fall into the riba category. If the information provided by the bank and the information obtained by the user do not match, the customer can terminate the contract. An example, the situation about this contract is agile, there is a different payment cell in which the bank, the refunder, requires the house at the same price as the client, that is home buyer, and then you sell it to the customer. Customer will make payment in installment and by default must pay the entire purchase. Next, I will present some issues regarding by Bithamina Ajil or in short term is BBA product that have occurred between the bank and the buyer. I am Muhammad Azad Muhammad Fridaus. Uh, my ID number is 060147.
The first issue is home financing price. Although the price of the cost is disclosed and the profit earned by the bank is also determined, it still have a difficult problem for the customer, which is the price of the outstanding balance is high compared to the original price. The issue will happen when the customer cannot follow the agreement correctly. Based on the common agreement, the customer need to pay more if they can't pay the price agreed in the previous contract. This agreement led to unsatisfaction among customers because it is fairly significant resemblance to conventional uh, database. According to Zuljastri, Mustafa and Fauzia who state that the difference between uh, BBA and conventional is the conversion of the term uh, from interest rate to profit rate. The BBA's plan to set up the fixed price seemed to manipulate the method but the objective was similar to the conventional banking. Our opinion on this issue should be viewed from the two parties involved, which is bank and the customer. When dealing with price, especially when the price is allegedly expensive, one party will get more profit and the other party will pay a high price. We are not convinced that giving a price that suits the market price is profitable for both parties. Uh, bank should gain uh, more profit to assess Muslim customer while uh, provide while providing facilities and alternative to the Islamic community. But the bank may need to look back at the policy. Customer, especially Muslim, want to use buy vitamin AG product because to avoid riba. But if this product provide more distress than conventional banks, that is seem to encourage customer to return to use the riba system because in their opinion it is less risk. Syariah teach us to facilitate customers affair. Allah say in Surah Al-Baqarah verse 280 وَإِنْ كَنَزُوا عُسْرَةٍ فَنَزِرَةٌ إِلَى مَا يَسَرَهُ وَأَنْتَ صَدَّكُوا خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ And if someone is in a hardship, then let the postponement until a time of ease. But if you give from your right as charity, then it's better for you if you only know. I finished my part on the first issue, which is home financing price. Uh, Ms. Fatiha will continue this presentation with the second issue. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Fatia Betty Mazlan with metric number 060012. Now, I'm going to talk about the second issue of Buy Vitamin Ajil, which is legal title asset. The existing practice of home financing in Malaysia does not truly really meet within the idea of Buy Vitamin Ajil. First, if a client misses a payment, the bank retains property as the financier. There is no equal percentage transfer of ownership based on the amount owed by the client. Second, when a client visits a bank, he offers his property to the bank without a legal title. The bank sells it back at cost plus pricing, creating charges and legal possession of the house. This is crucial Sharia issue since someone cannot deal with the property unless they have legal title as it is unlawful in Sharia. Consequently, client must continue to make monthly installments even if the house funded has not, has not yet been constructed. In addition, forcing a person to continue paying the installment when he is not receiving the property will result in misery. This is contrary to Quran's general objective of removing hardship because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah never intends to impose suffering on people. To put it another way, a sale and purchase agreement is a half ownership, equitable or a beneficial ownership, rather than full ownership, milk, guy, or top. Next is suggestion to the issue. The contractor must give subsidiary title showing legal title to the property to the client after signing the sale and purchase agreement and depositing the commitment charge. The process could take longer than usual and be more expensive due to transfer duty and paperwork, but the contentment of being Shara compliant will increase client trust. Now I'm going to pass it to Para. Thank you.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Farah Atika Binti Zainuddin. My matric number is 061044. So, I'm going to continue my part. Just deferred payment and cases of default. The next issue are deferred payment and cases of default. Islamic banks are heavily criticized when it comes to late payment suspension or fines. Typically, Islamic banks are permitted to leave it that way as a late penalty with the money going to a charitable fund. This phrase was found in the letter of first precise term and condition which is in the case of a late payment after its due date, the bank has the right to collect an administrative charge in addition to any interest or penalty interest that may be levied. This was proof of a breach of the Surrey Free Sharia Compliant Financial Concept Al Riba. Usuri is condemned as part of a broader criticism of market abuse, which includes the exploitation of weaker segment of society through deception, manipulation, or limitation. Another issue that has to be addressed in the context of this study is the timeliness of the documentation, preparation, and execution process. Inefficiency was evident in the in this case. Delay in the procedure may have been resulted in the developer imposing excessive interest rebate, rendering the transaction no competitive. In the case of insolvency, the customer is obligated to cover the whole purchase price even when the sum charged is for a 30-year term and he has failed to pay in only two years. Accordingly to this behavior, the client become bankrupt since he owes money to the bank while receiving nothing in return from the asset he wants to buy from the contractor. Suggestion for deferred payment and default difficulties, Islamic Bank should incur the burden of such a process for the recovery process and offer the charge as a donation. Aside from that, if the bank agrees to press a fine, the charges must be be a pre-agreed set amount equal to the real damage as defined by the Alder Alfield principle. This is due to the fact that banks may be able to avoid criticism by being more ethical and moving toward a Sharia compliant penalty treatment procedure. Thank you. To sum up everything that had been said by my friends, we know that buy vitamin A gel is one of the products that can help people to buy their assets. In a nutshell, buy vitamin A gel can be defined as a contract for the sale and purchase of goods a transaction for financing assets on a delay and installment basis with a predetermined payment period. Last but not least, every product has its advantages and disadvantages. The first advantage for buy vitamin agile is buy vitamin agile financing operations comply with Sharia requirements. For example, Bank Islam Nisha has a Sharia panel who is assigned to take care and monitor so that all activities carried out do not deviate with from the original guidelines. Second advantage for by vitamin agile is borrower can own assets such as land, vehicles, and houses by making agreements and paying them in installments. And the disadvantages for this product is by vitamin agile applications will be approved according to certain conditions such as the borrower must be aged 18 to 65 and have a permanent job. Besides that, they will give priority to people who are working in the private and government sectors. Lastly, to the borrower who fail to follow the agreement that has been made, they will receive a warning letter twice and if they still not obey to the agreement, the Bank Islam Nishabirhat will auction the assets application for by the borrower.